let's examine a basic inventor installation and identify a few key points during setup to be aware of. This example covers installing Inventor downloaded from the Autodesk subscription site. The first thing you will want to do is extract the executable file based on the operating system you are running. In this case, Inventor is being installed on a 64-bit operating system. Run the executable file. The files will be extracted to C colon Autodesk. Select Install. Allow the file extraction to take place. You will then be presented with the installation screen. You may want to read the documentation. Otherwise, select Install Products. You are presented with a screen that gives special instructions based on the operating system you are installing the product on. Make any necessary corrections based upon the instructions. Select Next. Select the products you wish to install. Selecting the Autodesk Material Library 2011 Medium Image Library will install high resolution images to take advantage of the enhanced visual settings. Selecting the Vault client will install the needed add in to work with Vault. You will also need to install and configure the Vault server application. Installation of Vault is not covered in this series. However, it is strongly recommended that you use Vault with Inventor to manage your data store. Once you are satisfied with your selections, select Next. Read and accept the license agreement. Select Next. Enter your contact and company information. Enter your serial number and product code. Select Next. You are presented with your product selection. Select Next. Select the Configure button. Choose either Standalone or Network Installation. Network installation will require a license file. Select Next. Select the type of inventor settings you prefer. If you are a recent AutoCAD user, you may wish to select the settings related to AutoCAD. Otherwise, select the recommended inventor default settings. Select the default measurement settings. This value has an impact on the template files used to create new drawings, parts, and assembly files. The value you choose here will populate the default template files with the matching standard. Select your default drawing standard. Select Next. Choose your preferred color scheme. Select Next. Choose to install Content Center content on your desktop or use Content Center content located on a Vault server. Select Next. Select the installation type. If you need more control of the files being installed, select Custom. Select Next. You may see a warning dialog box stating that the directory exists. In this case, there was a beta version installed that left behind a few files and directories. Verify that you are not overwriting something important, then select Yes. You can include service packs or other files to be added to the end of the installation. You would use this area to configure additional install parameters. Select Next. The configuration is complete for the first tab. Select the Content Center Libraries tab. Select the Content Center component libraries you wish to install. Remove a checkbox to skip the library. Select Next. You may get a dialog box warning of existing content. Verify that you are not overwriting important files 
and select Yes. The Content Center configuration is complete. Select the AutoCAD Mechanical tab. Autodesk Inventor Link will allow you to dimension inventor parts and assemblies in AutoCAD Mechanical. Select this checkbox if you would like to have this ability. Select Next. Select to install AutoCAD Mechanical content libraries. Select Next. Choose which content libraries you wish to have installed. Select Next. Select your license type. A network license will require a license file. Select Next. Select the Express Tools checkbox if you want all of the useful additional functionality of Express Tools installed. Select Next. You may get a dialog box warning of existing content. Verify that you are not overwriting important files and select Yes. You can include service packs or other files to be added to the end of the installation. You would use this area to configure additional install parameters. Select Next. Select the Vault tab. If you are not installing the Vault client, you may not see this tab. Select Next. Select the small arrow to expose the Design Review tab. Select Design Review. Make any changes as needed to the install location and desktop shortcut creation. Select Next. Select Configuration Complete. When you are sure that you have everything set as you wish, select Install. Read and deal with any warning boxes you may encounter. After Inventor completes the install process, check to make sure that all the files were installed properly. You may wish to view the README files after installation. If not, clear the checkboxes. Select Finish. Restart your system to allow the changes to be implemented and complete the installation. Run Inventor to activate your license. Make sure you have an active internet connection in Select Activate. Select Finish. Install the Inventor Fusion Preview. This can be downloaded from your subscription site or from Autodesk Labs. Extract the download, just as you did for the Inventor install. Select Install. After the extraction process, the installation screen is activated. Select Install Products. Select Next. Read and accept the license agreement. Select Next. Enter your contact information. Select Next. Select Configure to make adjustments to the install location. Select Next. Select Configuration Complete. Select Install. You may wish to view the README information. Clear the checkbox to skip the README files. Select Finish.